anyways, sorry about that. But uh, my daughter and my nephew, by mistake, they disconnected the main cable for the Wi-Fi. That's the main box is in their room because that's where everything is connected. And they messed it. They messed it up by disconnecting it by mistake. So they knocked me off the stream. I had to wait for the stream to to restart. So now I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna be uploading what I had so far, which is an hour and 45 minutes, to YouTube. Really quick. It does not take me that long to do this. Just give me one sec. Alright guys, <sighs> literally when it ended, it paused it for me. So from the moment that last one, which is, is titled Until Dawn Part 5 ended, this is where this one will continue as soon as I unpause. Let's do this.
Yo, I don't want Chris to die. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. I can't right now. Goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So that old guy's bag. Oh, I was prepared for anything. What is this place? What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in the fifties, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Some of them survived. Like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and he figured out there'd been some like, big cover. And his plans, and the mine was a death trap. And I'm not sure what it means, but I'm not sure. Dried blood all over. Like some big torture. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here. Perfumes for girls. I'm just saying. I'm watching Fear the Walking Dead. Logan, sit. Don't stand on your bed. That's how I got I'm watching Fear the Walking Dead. I had to just make it to the house. I was five feet from the fucking door. This thing came at me. And I had a choice either to shoot it or to shoot an explosive thing to make it fly further. 
but I couldn't get to aim at the explosive thing on time. Next thing you know, the thing jumped on me and ripped out Chris's head. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Am? If that thing bit. I I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You can't be down here, guys. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? Happy! Oh, Emily! Hi! Say, go to mommy. Keep it on. Maybe it's just a bite. Go. Guys, what are you doing? Puppy. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Like me? This is the <laughs> safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not for us. Don't, don't do that. I'm really sorry. Okay, guys. Write it in the chat right now. Should I shoot this bitch? Or should I do nothing? Hurry up. I've seen a clip of this video. And the person that I've seen him play chose not to do anything. My, me being an asshole that I really am in, in certain with certain situations, I would love to shoot her in the face. Let me know what you think I should do and put it in the comments now, right now. What should I do?